If you're heading to Paris, there are plenty of attractions to see in the city, so many that you might not even want to leave. In this video, I'll be sharing five day trips outside of the Paris city center, but stick around to the end because I've even included two additional locations for you to consider. If you like to get in as much sightseeing as possible when you travel, you may want to get outside of the city or even the country to experience some of the nearby sites and attractions. So here are five day trips from Paris that you can take to explore more of France and neighboring countries. Number one is the Loire Valley. This region of France is approximately a three hour drive each way from the Paris city center and is a famous wine region in France. Here you will also find over 1000 chateaus, some of which are even open to the public for tours. If you want to venture out to Loire Valley, your transportation options are limited. I'd suggest renting a car or taking a tour that includes transportation. We booked a full day wine tour that left from Paris city center. On our tour, we visited three chateaus. The first up was the Chateau de Chambord. Fun fact, this castle was the inspiration behind Disney's Beauty and the Beast castle, and also the first movie I ever saw in theaters, so I was pretty excited to see it in person. Chateau de Nitre was our second stop. Here we enjoyed a tour of the chateau, lunch, wine tasting, and got to view their pigeon tower. Our last stop was the Chateau de Canonceau, where we toured the beautiful grounds, enjoyed wine tasting, and explored the castle. Overall, it was a long day with a lot of driving, but I thoroughly enjoyed our day trip to the Loire Valley and I definitely recommend it. Number two is Normandy and the beaches of D-Day. This historic area was where the battles of D-Day took place in 1944. Today, the area is full of museums and memorials to commemorate the successful mission of the allied troops and honor the lives lost. There are various options to get to the area that range from about two to three and a half hours each way. You can rent a car and drive yourself, take a train or take an organized tour, which is what we did. Our tour began with a visit to the Memorial de Caen, followed by lunch. After lunch, we visited the Pont du Hoc, site of the D-Day battle, and made our way to the American Cemetery and Memorial at St. Laurent. The next stop took us along the coast to see the Aeromanche and the ruins of the artificial port that was built in only 15 days. Our final stop of the day was at the Canadian Memorial at Juneau Beach. If you enjoy history, this day trip from Paris is a must for your itinerary. While it is easy to see the main highlights of this area in a day, I'd highly suggest spending a few days in this area to truly experience the history. There are countless memorials and museums to visit, but you can absolutely get a highlight of the area in just one day. Number three is the Palace of Versailles. When planning our trip to France, I knew I had to see the Palace of Versailles and gardens. There are a few different ways to visit the Palace of Versailles, on your own or on a tour. If you go on your own, you can rent a car, take an Uber or taxi, or use public transportation, and it is approximately 35 to 40 minutes from the city center by train. We chose to go via a tour company. They picked us up at our hotel and drove us directly to the palace. The palace dates to the 17th century and was built first as a hunting lodge and then morphed into the palace that's so famous today. The grounds and gardens of the estate require a full day to explore on their own. We were there for the afternoon, but I could have easily spent a full day just in the garden. The interior of the Palace of Versailles Museum is stunning. My favorite room was definitely the Hall of Mirrors, which was refurbished in 2018. All of the rooms are very intricately designed and decorated, and I really enjoyed seeing it in person. On our tour, we learned that pre-pandemic, they had approximately 25,000 visitors each day. If you go via tour, know that four hours is not enough time to spend there, so look for a longer tour or just plan to spend the money 
on an Uber or transportation and visit yourself. Number four is London, England. You can actually get to London in just over two hours by high-speed train, making it even easier to get to than some of the other regions of France. Some of the main attractions in London are the Shard, Tower Bridge, and the Tower of London, which are located over and along the Thames River. Spoiler alert, London Bridge is just a regular looking bridge, but we still added it to our list. Other top attractions include Borough Market, Big Ben, the British Museum, Trafalgar Square, and the National Gallery. Shakespeare's Globe Theatre was also high on my list, Hyde Park, Covent Garden, and too many others to name. One of the main attractions I added to our list was Buckingham Palace and the changing of the guard. And while it was a little underwhelming, I'm still glad that I visited. Overall, if you're planning a day trip to London or even a quick weekend, you will have to prioritize your sightseeing, but it's definitely worth it and doable in a day. Brussels, Belgium is number five. Getting to Brussels from Paris is only one hour and 42 minutes by high-speed train, making this a very good day trip option. On our visit, we stopped at the Grand Place, which was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1998. This is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Brussels, and pre-pandemic was the site of festive and cultural events throughout the year. The buildings in the square are very detailed in design and primarily Baroque style. Other top attractions include Mannequin Pies, a statue of a little boy peeing in a fountain, St. Michel Cathedral, Belgian Comic Strip Center, and the Royal Palace. This palace is used by the Belgian royal family as an official residence and is located right across the street from Brussels Park. There is plenty to see in a day in Brussels, so definitely add this to your list. And now on to two bonus trips for those who are a bit more adventurous with their travel plans. The first one is a Bruges and Ghent day trip. If you're willing to drive the three plus hours to Loire Valley or Normandy from Paris, you can get to Bruges and Ghent in approximately three hours via train. Both of the cities are actually UNESCO World Heritage Sites, and if you have the opportunity to spend more time in these locations, I would highly recommend it. We spent the morning in Ghent and the afternoon in Bruges. Our Ghent attractions included Nicholas Church, Gravenstein, and the Gothic St. Bavos Cathedral. In Bruges, our first stop was the Lake of Love and the Lover's Bridge. We also went to the Belfry of Bruges and Central Market Square. Both cities are incredibly beautiful and I would have loved to spend more time exploring. I'll definitely be back in the future, but this was a great overview of the cities. And the second bonus suggestion would be a trip to Luxembourg City in Luxembourg. You can get to the city in just under three hours by high-speed train, making it a possible option for a day trip. We spent the majority of our day in the old quarter of Luxembourg City, which is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. One of the first attractions we saw was the Grand Ducal Palace, dating back to 1572. The walls of the Corniche are also an attraction and have been called the most beautiful balcony in Europe. This is also where you'll find the Gate of the Grund and get some lovely views of the city. And while we didn't go inside, we got a view of the famous Bach casements, dating back to 1644. And there you have it, five day trips from Paris, plus two extra options for those who don't mind spending a bit of time in transit. While all of these can be seen in a day, it just gives you the highlights, so you may want to return or even plan to spend more time in these areas if you have the time to spare. 
I hope this video can be helpful if you're planning your own trip to Paris and want to get out of the city to see more of the sights. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more travel videos coming soon.